credit to is the younger man by some seven years, but nowhere near the pedigree and experience of Tony, who we're looking forward to seeing and will be a familiar face, of course, on the American fight scene. Let's get them to the ring now. We're introducing first and fighting out of the red corner. Officially, he weighed in at 123.5 pounds with a professional record of 12 wins, two by way of knockout and two losses. From Constanta, Romania, please welcome Yonat Il Capo Baluta. And now introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner. He officially weighed in at 123.8 pounds, bringing to the ring 22 wins, 16 by way of knockout, and only one loss. Fighting out of Port Leash Island by way of New South Wales, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former world champion. Please welcome TJ the Power Dorney. Referee will now give his final instructions to the boxers. Well, you can hear the trumpets and the olays in the background. The artists travel everywhere, don't they, for sport? Let's put a little bit of weight on his face since the way in the yesterday. Uh, uh, dressing room, <laughs> obey my command at the whole time and protect yourself at the whole time. Give me a clean fight. I don't want to see punches lower than this. No kidney punches, no rabbit punches. Good luck, Coffee. And I wonder if weight might play a part, of course, because making weight a bantam was um, proving too difficult for B Baluta. What's he, the six pounds heavy? Yeah, he was, he, uh, he, was, he was heavy last time when he fought in October. So he's moving up. This is at a catch weight as well, at uh, 124 pounds. But it will, be, it, will be at, it will be at super bantam. Now uh, that uh, Donny is, is making an assault on world class uh, mm. once again. But it could just be Baluta up at this new weight will feel rejuvenated. And he caused a bit of a surprise uh, when he won in, in Wolverhampton over in England back in October. Donny just taking a, a little look. Could be he's the, the, big, the bigger, more muscular man as, as well as the more talented too, but we'll see about that. Yeah, he's a little bit more slight, isn't he, Baluta? Um. Good start, though, from Baluta himself. Yeah, he positive. Looks, yeah, he looks composed, relaxed. Could just be he's been at the wrong weight for, for perhaps too long as well. I think that's, just, that's the thing with a lot of fighters, you know, they, they're killing themselves to make weight for so long, and then when they take it, they might have a, like a six or an eight round just a warm up fight at, at a different weight, and they feel so much better, and they end up they end up settling at that weight then. Well, and uh, th th no doubt in the modern day, Gary, as well, whether it's boxing or MMA as well, no doubt the majority of fighters are fighting at the wrong weight. Yeah, they, maybe. They, uh, there's the, the, yeah. there's such a. Uh, there's such a, 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 a time now of, of wanting to be big at the weight. Of course, I think I, I turned pro in 96. I think that was the year after they brought in the day before weigh or two years after they brought in the day before weigh-in thing. And when they did bring that day before weigh-in in, I think you had so many fighters tr just trying to make weights that they, n they possibly couldn't or weren't comfortable making. Um, but you, to go back to the olden days, you were weighing in at 12 o'clock on the day of the fight, so you, you couldn't really afford to deplete yourself as much as boxers do today. Well, it, it was understandable from safety reasons why that was brought in, but there's no doubt the system has been abused ever since, and perhaps more so these days than ever before. What well, you would say, first couple of minutes here, Baluta has picked a, a few shots, and now in the last minute, the Dorn is perhaps going to try and go to work. Yeah, now he's backing him up. I think he was standing off him. He was standing off him initially, wasn't he? And... Uh, he started pushing him back on it, but he's given he's given a good uh, a good fight of it. He is, isn't he? Just he's clipped yeah. Tony with a, a right hand there, Baluta. He was coming forward, the Irishman. And you'd hope with Tony, he seems uh, he always seems so professional, doesn't he? But you would hope that his his mindset is is right for this one. Baluta is very it's very aggressive from the back foot, isn't he? You know, he lands on that back foot and he brings in, in a right hook or a straight right, and he's quite dangerous. Absolutely, lands another right hand. I think he's at the best of this first round. He looks comfortable doing what he's doing, and these tactics are working for him. Donny fires back a shot of his own. Ooh. 
Good round, though, that from Baluta. Yeah. Surprisingly good start. Yeah, surprisingly. Here we see some of the work for Baluta off the back foot. He, he was letting rip with the right hand. He landed that a good three, four times. In a division of class fighters as well. Ray Vargas, of course, long-standing WBC champion. Uh, number two uh, in that division is uh, Dorney. Number four for Akhmedaliev, recently won IBF title as well. And he's number seven with the... WBO Navarati is a, a, a bit like Vargas, another tall, rangy uh, fighter. He's one who is amazing. You, you see how some of those guys make the way, but he didn't run too. It's a, a positive start. He's not just firing off the back foot now, Baluta, trying to get uh, going forward as well. Boxing very well against the South Force stance, isn't he, Baluta? And he's, um, well, he's believing in himself. He's, yeah. he's growing in belief all the time. Everything's right hand. Exactly the shot you throw to a lefty. It's a slight nick on Dohany's eye. There is. Right eye. There is. Nothing to worry about, of course, because it's under the eye. But He's got quite high cheekbones, Dohany, hasn't he? He was involved in that fantastic fight with Danny Roman. Great fight. I think he's... He, I think that's a, a, an itch he wants to scratch at, at some stage, title or not. I, I think he just feels he, he fought the, the wrong fight yeah, with Yeah, well, Roman. I think, I, I don't know so much, you know, at, at times he did, but he was on top for long periods. I think it was the two knockdowns that really beat him, you know, and the, that body attack in, in the 11th finished him, didn't it, almost. So, um, but he boxed really, really well in that fight. There's, there's no disgrace in losing that fight at all. I think it was one of those where he got booed into the ring and then cheered out, like, like my man Jay Harris. Yeah, yeah absolutely in, in uh, Texas the other weekend. Terrific effort from the little Welshman in defeat. Yeah, but uh, I think it's fair to say, Don, he's going to have to get a hold of this little guy. He is. He's thriving at the moment. He's thriving on the confidence he's getting from landing these good shots. Element of surprise all the time. The lead right hand, which doesn't often come with an orthodox fighter. And he's, um, but he's it's definitely, like you said, sorry, Alex, like you said, that's, that's the shot for a southpaw. And he's constant movement as well. He's, he's, he's mixing it up. I think he, <laughs> there was a left hand there from Donny. And I think the referee's saying you were holding him, so, so he he's had entitled good, he to had punch. Good right too. Yeah. <laughs> The movement of Baluta, as well as the tactics that he's mixing up, but he's employing either off the back foot, using the right hand, uh, the, the whole package is putting together a, a really nice sequence of moves. His movement, movement with the upper body and the, and the feet are excellent. Very, very good. Very good. Fighting, aggressive fighting from the back foot. The right way. Long time to go yet, Al. Well, that was a nice shot from Don. He just clipped him there with a the counter left. Just shows you in boxing, doesn't it? I don't know what on paper might look a little sort of routine. Into round three. Baluta in the, the black with a... Romanian flag trim on either side, and TJ Donny in the red, gold, and white, of course, colors that have uh, taken him all the way to a world title. How, how significant is it that it, it seems, Gary, that Baluta's getting off first as well? Yeah, he just seems that little bit sharper getting off, doesn't he? And um, uh, Dohan, he's, he's trying the counters, but it's just not. At this moment in time, it's just not working for him. Um, and it gets, he's getting his shots off, and he's just stepping around on. He said, so even when he does throw the counters, they're not coming anywhere near him. There's a nice sort of jab to the body there from... Dawn. He's, he can't quite pin his, this little guy down. And even, the little, even when he throws the counters himself, he's hitting the spot, isn't he, Baluda? 
five counters there. They all sort of hit the gloves or the, or the, or the head of Dohany. Two sharp right hands. He is absolutely motoring switched on for this tonight, Bulletin. No question of, about that. Dohany's on the front foot. Depends what you like, doesn't it? You know, in America, if you're on the front foot, and most of the time that counts. And on top of the bill, we've got uh, Lasisi against Jimenez. You know, talk about sort of guys meeting bumps in the road and then and, and coming on for it. Jimenez, uh, first sort of dozen fights or so weren't particularly awe inspiring. Well, I think, yeah, I think he lost eight of his first 11 and seven of his first eight and three by stoppage. So. Uh, look at him now. And challenge for a world title, and, and maybe the winner of that will take a step closer tonight. That's our top of the bill. So here you can see, well, maybe getting the right sort of backing, maybe the right training, fighting at the right way, getting the right people around you, whatever it is. It all counts. Everything's going. It's all about percentages in boxing, and, and every little positive reaction in your, in your camp counts. He is loading up a bit, Baluta. I wonder, the only thing I'd say, Gary, towards the end of the, the third is he having to bust a gut to yes, do this yeah yeah we can see that from the start you know you can hear the the exasperation he's putting into the punches he's loading up with everything and that can only that can only you know, count so far it's like i said earlier so there's a long way to go yet second half of the fight could be interesting if Boluta isn't quite ready for it physically we shall see nice jab that's better from tony oh yeah. lovely shot nice. Little flourish at the end of the round. Maybe Tony's getting going now. 30 seconds that wins the round, and um, he's going to keep coming, Dohany. We know that. Paluta might have just punched himself out in those first three rounds. You know, he, he was working good in the first two, two, two and three quarter rounds, but he had to. to round four of them approaching the halfway market as Gary said a long long way to go in this one particularly the effort that uh, Baluta has put in through the first three rounds it's a lonely old place when you're tired in there as well <laughs> oh absolutely left hand he's, he's yeah. kind of almost tapping his gloves he's really getting, fired up for this Baluta he's getting closer now as well Dohany but he is, he is coiled Baluta now isn't he you just wonder how hard he's having to work and how much he's putting into this yeah this is the thing uh, you know a lot of the time you can win these rounds but you have to be mindful of the fact of how hard you're working to win the rounds. And uh, if it's going to take it out of you in the later rounds, then it has a big effect, doesn't it? Well, that was good from again. Tony, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Actually starting to switch on now defensively. Maybe it's just taking him a... Maybe, maybe Baluta's just slowing down. Maybe it's taking Tony a couple of rounds just to, to switch on to... His style, his style his speed. Oh. Oh. But again, you know, Darhan, he's a 12 round fighter. This guy isn't, isn't really a 12 round fighter, so he started off at a pace that Darhan he's probably not used to. But he's, uh, he's getting closer to him now, that's for sure. A couple of good body shots from Darhan as well. Fought all over oh, the world himself. Shot, yeah. oh, did I he hurt him, him with that? Definitely. No show, sure, maybe from Baluta. And just fancy he's having to fight now to keep Tony off him as opposed to fighting to win the moments in the round. Mouth open a little bit for the Romanian too. It's a great shot from a southpaw as well. And, and when a oh. southpaw. Oh, it hurt him again. He's kind of bundled him over. Don't... The gum shield's come out. I think that will help, but it has come out at uh, a really opportune moment. There was a lovely right hook in his, his own corner. Uh, Baluta uh, to take one dug right under his left elbow. He 
He's working hard, Baluda. He's working hard to try and keep Don He off him. But he's almost sort of clenching his teeth and really forcing himself to punch yeah. now, where it was flowing a bit more earlier. I think that was a big yeah, good look big at uh, the Romanian Baluta, and even more than in between the previous rounds, he really is having a blow. He's exhausted. Um, if you look in uh, Dohany's corner, he looks like he's, he's taken it all in his stride. But um, no, earlier on in the round, there was that shot that left to the body, which is a perfect shot for a southpaw and then against an orthodox because the orthodox is square to it. Just turned, just turned into the left. Well, I've had a few of his fans worried through the first two and a half rounds I think it's fair to say be happier now with the way the things are going but still a few rounds yet as we move into the fifth just a little bit better at the dirty boxing as well Dohany on the inside Baluta just um he just either grabs hold or, or relaxes on the inside, and, and Don, he wants to keep going. Dirty boxing, different angles. Of course, that's a, a, it's become known as an MMA term these days. Is there a little bit of cross-pollination between the sports now? Gary, do you, 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 you see a, a few MMA guys? You, traditionally, you're with boxers, though. Is there, you know, because maybe, like, Ricky Hatton was really strong up, up, up close, wasn't mm. he? And maybe a little bit of wrestling from that sport can kind of yeah, feed its way so. into boxing I, I think it can help and, uh, and obviously I, I coach a couple of the, the guys that are in the UFC um, down our way and uh, you know I think with an, with an MMA guy I think if you've got a very good um, striking coach then that's worth his weight in gold but there's so many disciplines uh, in MMA there's so many ways to get beat so you've got to make sure that you cover out you know, all, all bases here, Doan, he's trying to get onto the, the front foot. He's getting closer. He's finding it easier to get closer now to Baluta. Yeah, Baluta's uh, feet have slowed down, and there's not so much power in his punches now, so it's easier for Dohani to get close and, and work. Nice right hand from Baluta. But he's pinned in that corner. Still enough resistance from the Romanian. Yeah, mouth's at white, hanging wide open now, though. That's a sure sign of someone's very, very tired. Yeah, and the he is landing punches, but they're, they're just looking a little more desperate. Good left again from Dohany. Beautiful. Oh, oh caught it hurt. while they were tangled. Body shot. That would have hurt. Really is having to work, Baluta. Just the legs don't quite look, uh, look as strong or uh, explosive as they were through the first two rounds. Picking his shots though. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Oh, beauty. Caught him with a, his shoulder blades against the back rope there. Doheny and himself. He, he throws that left hand almost out of sight sometimes, doesn't he? Bit, yeah, it's beautiful. Of... Straight as an arrow. Really, really good. Well, he really had to fight that round, Baluti. Really had to fight to stick with Dorney, but you just fancy it was another round where Dorney was starting to put the pressure on. Yeah, he's... Yeah, struggling in the corner as well. And there was that body shot as well, as he kind of fell into Dorney. Good shot, man. Plenty of glamour here in Dubai tonight, ringside. into round six PJ Donny just starting to build up a head of steam just kind of shook his hands there Donny didn't he of course his first fight in what five months first fight of the the new year does it kind of feel like starting again I don't think so, you know, I think it's, uh, 
at this stage when he's world title level I think you're only really going to fight two, two, two times a year or, or, or three if you're lucky so I think we've all been through it all pros have been through little little bits of in inactivity and I don't think five months is a great deal um, I think he's uh, he's standard standard you know go through the gears now isn't he Dahini? fought on that uh, Bivol Bill in, in the USA when Usyk made his heavyweight debut didn't he that's right that was the last time we saw him he broke down Jesus Martinez on, on that occasion had him down early well, the ropes kept him up but he landed pretty much the same left hand as we saw in the fifth round here in Dubai With so much experience though Don he's, he's fought in Japan Thailand America of course and several times in Australia as well yeah, fight, fighting in these different countries against these guys in their own backyard that, that you know, really really toughens you up mentally gives you lots and lots of experience and it's almost like you know nothing nothing it's, it's like water off a duck's back then you know nothing's uh, nothing's a surprise well he won his world title in Japan didn't he yes. over in Tokyo back in 2018 what a performance that was amazing performance you know going to any country and ripping the title away from a, a hometown fighter is, is an amazing performance but you know Japan and, and, and far away from countries like that even better and against the guy who sort of won an interim version of that same title back subsequently maybe is Bulutaging a, a second wind he's landing a few shots in this round that's for sure everything's forced though Alex isn't it it was uh, it's not um, it's not pinpoint and, and precise like it was in the first two rounds his speed has given Donny some problems tonight. Yeah, in the first two rounds, two, two and a half rounds, I think it did. But um, oh, and there, <laughs> just landed it at two, three. <laughs> Defiance once again from Paluta. He has landed quite a few shots in this round, particularly yeah. last minute. Moving on to round seven. I thought the third was was an interesting round to to score, Gary, wasn't it? Because I, I think Dorney had the last sort of 30 or so seconds of it, but whether that was enough to give him the, the round. The first couple definitely went to Baluta, I think four and five. To, to Donny for sure as, as well. Six again there we just back, saw. To come back in the last round then though. Um, Baluta, yeah. Probably got it three to one at the moment. So to Honey, but a couple of those rounds could have gone either way. Yeah, so it could be the other way. It looked like Donny was definitely coming on strong through so the end of the third, fourth and the, the fifth. Baluta maybe just stemming the flow a little bit the last round. Nice left hand there from Donny. That sent the a sweat spring. He's definitely got a second wind. He has. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Just had that little dip, didn't he, after the third round, I think, in the fourth and the fifth. I think Do Doney's just accepted, you know, over the eight rounds, this, th this is what he's got to do tonight. Just grit it out. He's probably not quite seen the, the class of Dorney that you might have expected again it's uh, Baluta getting his shots off and Dorney tries to pin him down with a couple of body shots oh good shot and certainly the bigger shots have come from Dorney he's on the front foot constantly as well Those, both those left and right hands you see from Baluta were landing on the arms. That's Dorney again leading off for the a body shot. Trying to rough him up, Dorney. But to be fair, he's just putting the pressure. 
of yeah. Baluta, and yeah, it's been course. incessant from the, the the end of the third round on. He is complaining a little bit, isn't he, on the inside, Baluta? I don't like that. I don't think he likes the yeah, pressure, but there you yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's quite right, Tony, to hit just him. get his hands up. Just he's get his kinda, hands up. He's, he's just hoping the ref's going to break break them up. Strong finish, strong yep. finish to that round from Tony. Here we see some of the action from that penultimate round. And some, quite a few body shots from Tony landed. And he was starting just to bully him through the last minute. I think that's, he's accepted that's what he's got to do in this match because he's very clever on his feet, this Baluta. Here we go then, into the final round. I wonder if it may even come down to this on the scorecards. And I wonder also what the, the mindset was for Tony coming into this one. I, I can't imagine. Oh, just slipped in his own corner. Hopefully he's not hurt himself, Baluta. No, he's fine. We were talking about the mindset going into the fight. Um, it's hard. To, it's hard to guess. You know, when you've been at world title level and then you come back to an eight rounder against someone who you can't really motivate yourself against, the money that you're in in an eight rounder is not the money that you're in in a world title fight. So. And more importantly than anything else, you're in against the guy that you're probably expecting to beat. Yeah, and of maybe course. even beat comfortably. And then, and then the guy and then the guy surprises you and, and ends up, you know, giving the best fight of his life. And I, I, I'm assuming as a sports man or woman, it's quite difficult to change up, to suddenly go through the gears, to, to rejig yourself and, and switch on to where you need to be. Well, maybe so, but you know, that doesn't always happen, does it? Especially when you haven't got the motivation there. The money isn't, you know, anywhere near as good as what he was earning with the zone. Um, this is just a run out, isn't it? So it's supposed to be just a run of the mill fight. But when you have someone that turns up and they, they box like this, it's uh, it's very hard to adjust. But he has adjusted now the last sort of five rounds, isn't he? Good shot. Oh, fantastic shot there from Tony. Still see the speed from Baluta. He has been a nuisance throughout. Yeah. Another big left hand getting through from Tony now, though. And those are the sort of punches that are often enough to, to win rounds. Yeah, definitely. They're the eye-catching shots, aren't they? And obviously he's on the front foot as well. Well, it might be that Tony's surge to the second half of the fight has seen him clear yeah. on the scorecards. But I fancy it's this last round is certainly putting the seal on it. I suspect it was probably required. We'll see about that. Oh. No! <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Well, 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 point taken off. How important will that be? Tony was running away with the, the rounds, landing power shots, basically bullying Baluta, and whether he tossed him to the ground or what, the referee's intervened. I think he threw himself on the floor, the last one. It the looked last. a bit unnecessary, that the point deduction, I think it's fair to say. Baluta boxed out of his skin. He really was a, a pleasant surprise in a box of tricks, even although it was hard work for him through the second half of the fight. Doni wasn't at his best. He got better and stronger as the fight progressed. How close was it? How important that point deduction in the final round. Yeah, I got it by two, but that's only because he had a point took off in the last one. I mean, I, I would have had him by three. Um, just because he's just he's on the front foot and he bullied him the last sort of four or five rounds. And um, then again, for Baluta, that's probably the best performance in his career. He can, you know, he's covered himself in glory. I'm, I must admit, I gave Tony four to the last five. I wasn't yeah. sure about the sixth. Yeah, yeah. Six, I think, could, could have gone either way. The third, I think, you could dispute as, as well. Yeah, but again, you know, I had it by two, but it could have been by one or three, depending on how you, you, you know, you judge certain rounds. Well, we're going to find out about 
that. One thing for sure, Donna, he knows he's been in the fight. That's yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. And probably not something he was expecting. That's the fight game, isn't it? Well, let's. Uh, but I could see the, the fighters are ready, referees ready, but I could just see Terry Kavanagh over the far side, just double checking the the scores. He's not yet back in the ring. They've got calculators out and an abacus and all sorts over there. They're only kidding. They're only kidding, folks. But it just adds a, a little bit to the drama, doesn't it? And what we've seen, you can see. Look at the. Look at the body language of Tony. Look at the marks on the left-hand side of his face. He had that little mark under his right cheek as well from the, the first or second round. That's been, a, that's been hard work for him tonight. And all connected with Tony will be hoping that um, he has overcome what was potentially a bit of a banana skin and a bump in the road because this little fella was a live wire tonight yes Faluta, no doubt about that done really well fair play to him right well the wait is over let's hand it up to tk ladies and gentlemen after eight rounds we go to the judges scorecards judge poba vilo scores about 77 74 both judges Rosa and Van Abksport scored about 78-74, all in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Yono Baluta! Wow, that wasn't in the script. Yana Baluta winning it by three and by four points. He boxed out of his skin early on. Not quite sure I saw it by those margins. I didn't see it by their margins, but... Like